With mass gatherings being banned, many religions have had to stop public worship. And with churches closing, many have had to be particularly innovative, with some turning to live streaming. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> this is terribly exciting. St James's in Sussex Gardens in London is one of the churches that's been experimenting online. We were determined that the worshipping life of the church should continue, but it would have to continue in new and unexpected ways. When the coronavirus crisis started, they began live streaming their services on Facebook, but they haven't stopped at that. We have a large group of families a uh, large number of children. So we wanted really to provide something that would uh, speak to them, comfort them, encourage them and build them up in the faith. So yes, we threw our all into a rather madcap virtual Sunday school. It's Palm Sunday. Every week we send out an E Sunday, which contains within it the readings for the day and other notices and other devotional materials, and also an activity. So families download the activity. We're going to make our very own. This week we made um, a cross for Easter. For Palm Sunday. For, yeah, for Palm mm -hmm. Sunday. And then about two weeks ago we made this Virgin Mary. Yeah, it's been a lovely way to maintain continuity now that uh, normal life has been, there's a bit of a hiatus in normal life and it's been a, a lovely way to sort of maintain a sense of normality. There's been a big focus on uh, web resources like a church near you.com, that's our church finder. It's been a really, really key resource for us in recent weeks. We've now got more than 3,000 live stream services listed on that site. As someone who is a regular church goer myself, I can't wait for that day when on that Sunday I can walk back into my church and see family, loved ones and friends for the, for the first time. That's quite, I feel slightly emotional about that. All of these digital responses to this crisis have undoubtedly changed how people interact with faith online. But what will be interesting to see is how much of it will remain after the coronavirus crisis is over.